Welcome back to the uh, Reason tutorial. If you remember right, we've uh, done a Maelstrom tutorial. We've also done a tutorial on getting your drums to be fatter. This is actually the kit from the drum tutorial. If you listen real quick, we have a just simple drum loop in here. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go up into the mixer here and mute this. Mute all these guys. And I'm going to work on a classic bass line, which has been used in anything from Italo Disco to Modern Electro. So let's bring up the Maelstrom. If you go into the presets, a little open folder there, bring this over. And let's pick 80 Sin Bass. Okay. Now, I think for what we're going to do for this is go to Create. Select the matrix pattern sequencer. Now you'll notice right now you're just getting a flat single tone. So what I'm going to do is uh, do what's called a galloping bass line where you mute every um, third, fourth beat. And it starts with there's one beat, you have a blank, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it follows that way until you get to the end. So let's do that. So now we have... Now I'm going to change this up so that we actually have a change in key by going to the step panel over here and taking this up to 32. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. But then I'm going to change, see these are measures here. This is one measure, two measure, three measure, four. Well actually, let me see. This would be one measure in this case. You can also set the um, resolution so that's slower so this could be a measure or this whole thing could be a measure depending on how you want to do it so now I'm going to take the second half here and take this up to G right now the first part that's C I'm going to change that F to F because F sounds a little better now, if you really want to mix this pattern up, you can actually uh, go up to, you'll notice this is the octave change here, one, first octave, second, third, fourth, fifth. I can go up to the fourth, and on the third one here, I can actually add a note up higher. So now you'll see the difference. But for the moment, we're going to keep it the way it is. And now if I unmute these drums, you can hear what that'll sound like with that. But everything still sounds a little bit flat, so let's go fatten up this bass line a little bit. Let's loop that and fatten it up. 